Let's work on the concept of one-way ANOVA in this video and we're gonna do it in two videos. In this one we'll look at the intuition behind the test on this graph and in the next video we're actually gonna look at the math behind it. So what is this ANOVA test? We're testing the difference in means between more than two samples, between more than two groups. Recall that so far we could use a t-test on the difference between means of two groups, but if we have more than them, more than two, for instance in this case we have three groups which we're going to discuss in a second, t-test doesn't work anymore. We are relying on ANOVA and ANOVA means analysis of variance, meaning that the difference in means that we are testing, we are doing it by looking at the variance. So we are testing the variance between these groups. Now let's write down the hypothesis, what we're actually doing, and then we'll understand what this whole variance thing is about. So under the null hypothesis, we assume that the average in the first group is equal to the average in the second group and is equal to the average in the third group. Whereas the alternative is that not all these means are equal. So not all these means are equal. Now let's talk about this example to make it more practical so we can resonate with it. I plotted here a graph where we assume that we have salary, the average salary in three cities, Amsterdam, Rotterdam and Utrecht. Now every, every city has more observations. We collect data from every city and draw an overall average. So for instance, in Amsterdam we have an, a salary of 2.5 thousand euros, in Rotterdam we would have 3 thousand euros and in Utrecht we would have a 3.3 thousand euros average salary. Now, how do we compare these variances? Well, we compare how much the differences in these three groups differ from each other, vary from each other, by comparing with the overall salary, oh, sorry, overall average salary, overall mean. And the overall mean is this blue line over here, which is the salary in all these three cities, the average salary in all these three cities. And if you check the math, it works out because all we took is 2.5 plus 3 plus 3.3 .3 thousand euros divided by 3. So we get a 2.93 thousand euros average salary overall. Now, if these differences are high enough, if this the salary, the average salary in every group differs significantly from this overall mean, it means that the points themselves, the average salaries in every city differ between each other. And if they differ between each other, it means that not all these means, not all these average salaries are equal. So we would reject the hypothesis in favor of the alternative. Now, what is the, intu the, the intuition behind ANOVA? How do we actually compare this variation? We are, we are comparing the average variation between the group. We're gonna discuss this in the next video when we solve the math relative to the average variation inside the group or we call it within the group and notice that the average variation within the group is the same variation within the group is how dispersed the observations are and we can see that the observations the salaries differ from the average salary to the same extent over here they differ to the same extent over here and over here the dispersion the variation inside every of these three groups is the same. So for a given level of variation inside every group, how much does the variation between the groups differ? And if that is, if that is the case, if the variation between the groups is high enough, then we have evidence that these points by themselves, the average salaries in every groups, differ significantly from each other. Hope this makes sense so far. In the next video, we're going to actually work with the math behind it.